What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off last time, we've been sieging London for a few turns and they have finally slayed out on the last turn. With a severe numerical disadvantage, which I didn't actually realise until now, I was looking at unit cards. And, well yeah, they're just going to get screwed. Because obviously I'm not going to deploy with my mortars, where their mortars can get me. So they're going to have to come to me to destroy them. But that's what happens, Britain. We're writing some historic wrongs that I'm sure needs writing. <laughs> destroy them with musket fire, destroy them with artillery fire. There is my launch pad for the Cold War. For the new Cold War secured. I might actually deploy. Uh. Bit of a funky position. I wonder if I just deploy over here. Still kind of funky. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a touch of the Patriot about it. That's what it's gonna be. It's definitely going to be the Patriot when the British come under the, uh, come out from over the, over the hill. So what range does? It's going to be canister shot, but I just want to do, I just want to fight the, uh, the Patriot-esque, uh, battle. You know, on the reverse edge of the crest, reverse crest of the hill, on the reverse side of the hill, just over the crest. If they let me do it that way, because, you know, the AI gets a say to. And then, let's just keep my cavalry. We'll put my crassiers out on the left. Can they hide in the trees? Can they hide at all? Nope. It's not surprising. They are massive, wearing heavy armour that gl glitters and sparkles. So where's their first shot going to go? It's going to go with the artillery, as per usual. Boom, boom, boom. That's their mortars. Hell, guy. Oh, god. Actually, we've made it. Okay. How's what's the damage like when they hit us? So that's a bunch of guys lost already. Okay. Well, they've got one unit. Oh, to be honest, they've got one unit of mortars out deployed on the flank. So maybe I might be able to weather one. to weather one, but I still might want to run run my cuirassiers out that, that are going to get shot to bits by the other mortars but it might be worth risking them just to smash into their mortars because they've already knocked out what, 30 odd guys from this unit of artillery one mortar has managed to do that So that's halt firing on my artillery. Yep, Crassiers, as you'd expect, are tired because they are heavy cavalry, but they are going to let me get away with chewing up their team of mortars. There you go, now let my artillery fire at will. Ok, 
Okay, now that men have abandoned the mortars, it's mighty tempting to now just play it as a normal battle. Because that's what I really don't like. So lots of guys are going to be absolutely knackered, but I want to get up in their face. Limber out my artillery, just because I've got a fear it'd shoot into the back of my guys if I let them be free. Let's deploy my horse guard, because they've got horse guard. You've got crossiers out here somewhere. There they are. So they're aiming for them. So run into square formation. Then where's my crossiers? There they are. Nice oh, unit dragoons. Swamp them. Slim brown my howitzers. Okay, maybe not you guys. You guys keep coming. These guys I want to send in to attack London, the city, the fort, sorry. Oh, you're going to run yourself into my pikes instead? That would be wizard. Cassiers, go in. Let's see, they're winning decisively against my infantry. I don't like the sound of that. It's because they're out of square formation. Let's make these guys fill in the gap because they're let's get some sepoys on the wall the running union of cis swiss grenadiers maybe we just run them in okay let's bring up my howitzers bring up See, this is probably the best spot to put all my artillery, to be fair. Too bad I've been out of, without support for so long, but I don't think it's going to matter. I've just got superior firepower. Grenadiers, this is where you were supposed to be. There we go. Chop up that unit of citizenry, get some easy kills. Got a unit of marines, point blank. general so they're not firing by rank into the met oh i ran them into oh they've all died climbing over the barricades okay fair enough so we're firing returning fire on the marines at point blank range So I want my supplies to be over here. Well, no, 
want you coming up at least. Holy moly. So let's do this. And I can also get this unit into the mix. And then crank you to the left a bit. Is this a hill you are willing to die on? Come on, pull them off of their horses and let my Indian troops get up the wall. Because I want them up here manning cannons, but if I try to do this then they run down the ladder, so... Oh, he's probably bugged. Junior Marines is standing firm in the face of overwhelming adversity. Fire will turn on would be handy. This way, wanted to do with them, pull a sneaky man their own guns against them. Get out of that unit of grenadiers. <laughs> it's coming from the fort. Oh yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? Too bad they're just on a musket range or something, I suppose. Then lie my grenadiers down at the base of the walls. Fire will arm. Well, there we go. Ooh! Oh, some irreg some, obviously there's some gorillas. That's quite... Ah, okay, so it looks like I lost some... Some cavalry against them. Probably... Oh, it would have been my crossiers. Bonds as guerrilla units taken care of, I'm pretty sure that'll be it. Smash. Holy moly. That should be everyone. Oh wait. Sometimes this is what can happen with uh, city battles, is that they didn't quite... Ah, there we go, now they're routing. Good. End battle. Victory. Duh. On the world map. It does mean... The Britain. Wait. <laughs> okay, it's not happening yet. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's the end of this turn. So at the end of this end turn phase, then it's mine. That makes more sense. Um, <laughs> I feel like a right dumbass now. Um, but yes, we're reaching the point where Britain will just cease to exist. They're offering to give you New Mexico and Sardinia. No. 
See, they are ranked. In terms of prestige and power, they are ranked the same as me. Terrifying and spectacular. So, maybe in terms of... Well, it never means anything really in terms of power on the map. But in terms of production power, ability to respond if you give them a threat. It's just... Mm, it's something to be concerned about. And what I will do is a couple of the uh, not so good territories I will give to Louisiana as they are my ally, they are my protectorate. Region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. Georgetown. You're definitely getting a trade port because of all the goods. Good. Let's move up. Take sick and more shoals. Okay, so Harrisburg has given us one of these. Build some industrial buildings. Long lack in Huron territory. Another industrial building. Oh, it's because the Brits have gone here on a back, so very much declare war. I can hear a. So there's an alarm going off somewhere, and it's nothing to do with me, so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I can't. Okay, it's gone off now. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen too often. Hopefully it's not going off too long. Oh, my general in Damascus has finally died. New port emerges, Georgetown, which I'm already upgrading. Opera House and Ceylon. Opera, Opera House, well, they're not a priority. They do at least earn some wealth and make the place a bit happier. Um, I don't need gentlemen, and I don't want to bother ferrying gentlemen around. Let's do this. Build. Build. Hmm. So then let's do. Crewman Oh, it's a tactical retreat because I'm no longer at war with York. That's quite frustrating, which means they're going to break all the buildings. They're going to destroy that and they're going to destroy. Not destroy that, maybe, but. Hurons have arisen. Britain has been destroyed. This nation has been destroyed. Its home region having fallen into enemy hands. A once great nation will become nothing more than a footnote in history. Oh, that might be the case in this campaign, but in my Great Britain campaign it is not. Because they hate me, which is fair enough. Lots of rebellions abound. So let's destroy this. Let's get you into port in Portsmouth. Destroy this. Let's destroy this. Destroy the university. Destroy this. Portsmouth is, an, is, is, is enough, more than enough, I think. Because I've got, well, Portsmouth and Cadiz. No, Portsmouth, Portsmouth's my, my main military dock here, and I've got a breast as well, so... I don't need that many more. So here, I have tax. Clamour for a fort. If I knock down the university, that should help a lot. But it is Britain, so let's not pretend that things could, things can't go things might go wrong but at least we've got forces in place to deal with it and let's have a look at our infrastructure metal roads good average yield growing but London this is a so when they, when they are being taxed they're earning you three and a half grand a turn which is huge But it does mean that I've got freedom to expand into Russia. Also freedoms to start to bottle out the Russian fleet. So let's well, let's not take this navy. Next time I'll start building another new navy. This navy I want to sit here in the Baltic just to block it off. Then I can start sending weaker fleets up here to start to threaten, start to threaten Russia. the marines being built so I need to get two units of regular infantry the two units of scouts of some sort got so many oh, I, can't any, I can't get any more of those can't get any just light infantry one of those horse grenadier guards they are horse grenadier guards there we go 
Two units of light infantry. Good. Right. Oh, this is going really well now. Oh, we've got Cambridge. Temporarily. It's going to be destroyed. I'm going to build a religious school to help uh, convert the island into Catholicism. Because obviously, even though Ireland is a Catholic, I still need to convert a little bit of Protestantism away from it. So Sweden's not Sweden, Spain's storming eastward. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> a non-full Spanish stack decides to take on three pretty much full Russian stacks, and the AI yeah, thinks that's a good idea. Well, I don't know. It just goes to show what the uh, what the algorithm's doing. Good. Hey, you know what might be a good idea? I don't know what. Check this out. Oh, good. So Russia's pulling back because of uh, the combined Allied pressure, which means I probably will move up. Because there are some valuable regions, Königsberg, Warsaw. They're, they're, they're useful. Oh, God. Genoa. Oh, God. That's two full stacks Genoa's carted off. No. Ooh. There is a clamour for reform in this region due to the spreading of enlightened ideas through research and education. The people can be appeased by a reduction in taxes or so. a change of government type. See, look at that. In one turn, they've gone from minus 23 down to being pretty happy. So I think I'm probably going to build a, well, trading port, trading port, trading port, church school, Happiness building. Good. Good. New town emerges. Richmond, Virginia. Oh, why can't you be a cigar rolling face or cigarette manufactory? That would have been cool. Okay, so if the Cherokee are coming from the south, you're going to go threaten their home territories. You're going to move down south as a bit of a hedge from this army coming in. God, because Spain... Oh, Spain has just cleaned up those territories rapidly. All my sugar's coming online. Oh, let's build walls as well. Build a grand opera house. Lots of investment in Scotland. Let's get the production of everything up then let's take this knackered fleet not knackered fleet knackered army oh god he does not look healthy um so i can't recruit okay so what i want to do is recruit some because i'm attacking the russian rear areas i don't really need heavy Artillery. I don't really need 18, 12. Get two 12 pounders. Two 12 pounders and a unit of. Can I, got, not, can I not get this, anything less than the 24 pounder foot howitzers anymore? 32 pounder, which I don't need. Four inch mortar battery. Bit too immobile, so I guess I'm going to have to go for that. Then let's recruit some Let's get another unit of Hussars and then let's get a unit of Gendarmerie de France for this army because I want to have some light cavalry to chase down routing people and some heavy cavalry to break their formations and then ultimately this will probably be maybe if I added a couple units of elite infantry this army will be ready to sail off um, I think and so much for me building a new navy because that money's all gone so let's take you back to Brest. At least of this army in Portsmouth, any trade or any ships that go through this region, you know, have to do so with my permission. Okay, so where did Genoa land? Genoa did, I'm pretty sure, try to attack... Ah, so the <laughs> Spanish got thrown out of Istanbul. And I'm pretty sure the Genoans attacked Athens and failed. 
got Swiss Grenadiers and England have been recruited. Yeah, because that's this army. Which well, to be honest, both of these armies will end up going in this area. Maybe this army might load up on my tier 1 fleet and I might sell them straight through the Baltic and hit St. Petersburg straight off. Or do I land them back here and run them to Moscow? The, the potential! The potential! Oh, I forgot to move my European armies eastward. God, that would be a... This is a combined push. You've got the Spanish and the Austrians and soon to be joined by the French. A Catholic... A Catholic coalition of men just driving eastward. Although it looks like some of them have got spanked a bit. <laughs> That's going to happen eventually. Right, this is the important one. What does Russia do? Clears up the Spanish. Gave their generals some more command stars. Louisiana. I do hope they're gonna they're creating an invasion force. The Mughal Empire. Don't worry, Mughal Empire. I'm about to take your single region in Europe. It's going to be mine. And the Genoans have just taken... Ooh, they've just taken Athens. So the Genoans are... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Curse my transport network. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Ooh, I can Select block them off. A port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. You drive into their home territory. Let's infiltrate their region. Good. And what have they got? Meh. Degrano, Upper Canada. When in doubt, when in doubt, just build an industrial building. Commercial base and naval college, that's as far as it can go. Craft workshops. What do I need to get the next one? Power loom, that's what I need. Commercial base and base and commercial port. You've got to spend money to make money. Cotton warehouse, sugar warehouse, sugar powered, steam powered sugar mill. Governor's. Well, let's not do that in, ca in case the Cherokee drive north. Got a trade port. Let's beef it up again. And our weaver's cottage is finished. Cool. Okay, so let's get. Two heavy firsts. Three firsts. Seconds, thirds. And I'm going to get some fourths as well. Just to get some, some faster, smaller ships in. Because, I mean, 50, 158 guns. Well, maybe down to thirds. Because I'm basing it, in my head, I'm basing it off of um, Trafalgar Fleet. 74 gunships of the line were excellent compromise. The third rate of 74. Supremely practical weapon of war. Cool. That's what I think I'm going to do. So I've got you. I've got you. Okay, so. Let's use this fleet to do some transport duties. Let's get more recovery, then let's get two units of 
some cool looking elite infantry unit. The 81st Regiment. Oh, I can't afford two of them. But yeah, they'll all be recruited, shipped north as part of this army, then sent over. And to be honest, can I move you out of London? I can. Keep you in there for one more turn. Sweet. And then let's push up to the bridge. So they want to, if they want to fight, if they want to push across the bridge, they have to get into a nice little bottleneck. And then the same with you. Push up to the bridge. Let's repair the farm. I can't afford to repair anything else. Cool. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We finally knocked out Great Britain. Oh, that also does mean that their region has... Oh, it's just gone straight to the Marathas. Handy. And yeah, so we've knocked Britain out, and then we're ready to drive eastwards in Europe, keeping a careful eye on our neighbours to the south. Right here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.